Welcome to College Learning, and today we're going to learn about biograph. Biographs. Biographs are one of the most popular way in visually representing data and are widely used in different fields, including business, finance, and science. In this report, we will explore bar graphs in which they consist of horizontal or vertical bars that represent different variables or categories of data. Bar graphs are easy to read and understand which makes them an effective tool for representing complex data into a simple and concise manner. By using different colors, scales, and labels, bar graphs can provide a lot of information in a visually appealing way. By the end of this report, you will have a better understanding of how bar graphs can be used to summarize and collect data effectively. So the bar graph is also known as a bar chart. Uh, it has been used since the 17th century. It's credited to the English philosopher and polymath William Playfer, who introduced it in his book, the, which is called The Commercial and Political Atlas in 1786. Uh, Playfer's Innovation was to represent data using bars of varying lengths uh, to make it easier to compare quantities visually. And since then, a bar graphs have become a staple in statistics, economics, and various other fields for displaying categorical data. So I'll be discussing the description of our topic. Bar graphs consist of two axes, a vertical axis representing the values being measured, and a horizontal axis representing the categories or variables being compared. Each bar typically starts at the baseline of the vertical axis and extends upwards or horizontally to the value it represents. The bars can be arranged side by side or stacked on top of each other, depending on the type of comparison being made. Bar graphs are effective in displaying discrete data and are part particularly useful for visualizing categorical data or showing changes over time. They are widely used in various fields such as statistics, economics, marketing, and scientific research to convey information in a clear and concise manner. So that's all for the description of the bar graph. Definition of terms. Bar graph. Bar graph is a chart or graph that presents categorical data with rectangular bars with heights or lengths proportional to the values that they represent. The bars can be plotted vertically or horizontally. They are effective for displaying categorical data such as survey results, sales figures, or population statistics. Next is range. Range is the difference between the highest and the lowest value from a set of data. Intervals. Intervals is a range of numbers between two given numbers and includes all of the real numbers between those two numbers. Next is the axis. Axis are the lines that are used to measure data or graphs and grids. There are two types of axes, the vertical axis and the horizontal axis. These are also known as the x and y axis. Lastly, data. Data is a collection of facts and figures that can be in any form, either numerical or non-numerical data. Steps or procedures. To create bar growth, we have nine steps. First, must identify your data. Determine the categories or group to represent on the x-axis and the corresponding values for each category on the y-axis. Step 2. Choose a scale, determine the range and intervals for your axis and ensure that your scale is suitable for all your data points. Step 3. Draw the axis, draw a horizontal line for the x-axis and the vertical line for y-axis. Labeling each axis appropriate. Step 4. Draw the bar for each category corresponding to its value 
on the y-axis, ensuring that they are evenly spaced and have the same width. Step 5. Label the bars. Label each bar, bar with its corresponding value optionally. Step 6. Add titles and labels. Create a visually appealing graph with a clear title and label each axis with detailed descriptions. Step 7. Color or shades. The graph can be visually appealing and easily interpreted by adding color or shading the bars. Step 8. Check, check, and review. Double check your graph for accuracy and clarity and make any necessary adjustments. And finally, step nine, finalize. Once you're satisfied, it is time to finalize your graph. Hi everyone, my name is Jenner Bruna Singh, and in this video, I'm going to talk about or I'm going to give you some problems using the bar graph for you to have an idea um, what bar graph really is and so that um, we would know the different possible questions or possible problems using the bar graph. So let's begin. A survey was conducted to find people's favorite ice cream flavor. The data collected is represented in the bar graph below. So um, according to the bar graphs or as we can see in the bar graph, we have five different flavors, namely the strawberry, the chocolate, the cookies and cream, the matcha, and also the ube. So as you can also see in the bar graph, we have 20 people who chose strawberry is their most favorite ice cream flavor. We have 25 people who chose chocolate. We have 30 people who chose cookies and cream. We have 15 people that chose matcha and also the last but not the least. We have 10 people who chose that ube is their most favorite ice cream flavor. So, And also I have prepared 5 different questions that we can answer, that we can solve just according to the bar graph that I have um, made. So um, the first question is, what is the most preferred ice cream flavor according to the graph? Second, how many people participated in the survey? Third, if chocolate and matcha combined, how many people prefer either chocolate or matcha? Fourth, what is the least preferred ice cream flavor? And the last but not the least, the number 5, if 20% of the participants chose strawberry, how many people is that? So I'll be leaving the solution or the solve, solving of the problem to my Cadiz, which is my group mate, so that he can, I mean, she can properly discuss or properly um, um, show you the solution about the problem, okay? So that's it for now. Goodbye. My name is Micah Cedias and I'll be explaining to you the solution to the given questions. The first thing to do when answering a mathematical question is to identify and highlight the given information. Below the screen is where you can find the information given by Mr. Dinsing. For question number one, what is the most preferred ice cream flavor according to Grant? All we have to do is identify the bar of a flavor that has the highest number of votes. And one way to identify it is to look for the tallest bar. The bar that is the tallest in the bar graph for the flavor cookies and cream. Thus, the preferred ice cream flavor is cookies and cream with 30 votes. For question number two, how many people participated in the survey? To answer this question, all we have to do is add the number of votes for each flavor. As presented in the graph, 20 people voted for strawberry, 25 for chocolate, 30 for cookies and cream, 15 for matcha, and 10 people voted for ube. Thus, 100 people participated in the survey. For question number three, if chocolate and matcha are combined, how many people prefer either chocolate or matcha? For this, all we have to do is add the number of people who voted for chocolate and matcha. As, in, as depicted in the graph, chocolate is 25 votes and matcha is 15 votes. Thus, the answer is that 4 key people prefer either chocolate or matcha. For question number four, what is the least preferred ice cream flavor? All we have to do is identify the bar of a flavor that has the lowest number of votes. And one way to identify it is to look for the shortest bar. As shown in the graph, the bar for the flavor ube is the shortest. Thus, the flavor ube is the least preferred ice cream flavor. For question number five, 
If 20% of the participants chose strawberry, how many people are there? For this question, all we have to do is identify the total number of participants, which is 100 people. Then multiply 20% in decimal form by the total number of people. Thus, the answer is that if 20% 20% of the total participants chose strawberry, there would be 20 people who would choose strawberry. It's easy, right? So good luck and thank you for listening. I read that Kentucky is entitled most favored ice cream flavor. And I read that the most favored ice cream flavor is Kitty Kentucky, while the least favored ice cream flavor is the Obey. Our bar graph overall indicates that the cookies and cream is the most favored ice cream flavor, while the obe is the least favored ice, ice cream flavor. And our bar graph shows and visualizes which flavor of ice cream is the most favored. So, generally to sum it all up, Bar graph is one of the graphic representation of data that allows us to easily comprehend or interpret sets of data and draw a conclusion from the data that has heights and lengths proportionate to the values represented.